Hey girls, it's Friday. I'm gonna make this video really quick because A, I still don't have editing software, and B, the lighting is really crappy because my living room lighting is terrible for making videos, and I apologize for that. Um, not much is going on with me, as per usual. Just chilling out. It's been really, really warm here lately. There's like a heat wave going on, I don't know. Mm, um, but I've been like going outside to read every day for a couple hours, and it's really nice. Um, really hot but really nice. And I haven't gotten sunburn yet, which is always a win, because usually the moment I step outside, I'm like, just like a lobster. Like, sorry. Um, <laughs> that was weird. Okay, uh, speaking of reading, I finished reading Insatiable by Meg Cabot. This isn't the book, this is just the, the cover. I took the cover off, because I don't want it to get damaged. This is Insatiable by Meg Cabot. It was really, really good. Um, I was iffy about it at first, like I said, because it is a vampire novel, but it was amazing. It was really well written, and the story was really compelling, and there were some unexpected surprises and stuff that weren't dumb like other books that are really popular lately. Um, yeah, so I read that, and it was really, really good. And, um, what else happened this week? I don't know. I don't feel like anything... I got to go swimming on Monday for the first time in literally, like, a year, so that was really exciting. I love swimming, but I never get to do it, uh, and we went over to my aunt's house on Monday to celebrate the 4th, which I know that Monday was the 5th, but shut up, and, um, we, like, had a cookout and went swimming. It was really fun. Yeah. Oh, and then for the 4th, I went over to Angela's house, and we had steak, and I had my first Izzy, which, I don't know if you probably heard of Izzy's, but I had never had one. It's like, it's a soda, but it's weird flavors. Like, there's grapefruit flavor and pomegranate, I think. And there's blackberry. Blackberry was the one I had, and it was really good. Or maybe it was raspberry. I think it was blackberry. I don't know. Anyway, I had my first Izzy. It was really tasty. Um, and then we set off fireworks. Uh, small fireworks, obviously. The, the legal ones that you can just do in your backyard. Which was scary for me, because ever since I was a little kid, I've had this phobia of fireworks. That they were going to, like... That one of the thingies. <laughs> I don't know, the, the, one of the, like, cinders, I guess you'd call it, was gonna, like, land on me. And my mom always said that it came from a time when I was a really little kid, and we were seeing some fireworks display for the 4th of July at, like, a park, and a woman did get burned by a falling firework thing, and there was, like, a whole big scene, which I don't remember, but she says that that's why. So, I guess that's it. Um, but I actually lit a couple, which... I was really scared. They gave me the lighter. Well, they told me originally that I just was going to pick the next one that we were going to set off. So I picked one, and they were like, okay, go light it. And I was like, what? And I freaked out a little bit, but um, you just you hose down the grass so that it's wet and it doesn't set the grass on fire, and you put the firework down, and you get out the fuse, and you get the lighter, and you light it, and then you run. <laughs> and that was cool. I lit, like, I lit like three or four of them, I think, and they were really pretty, and it was nice. So that was fun. It was a good fourth. Um... What else? Nothing else will happen this week. I get to see you tomorrow, Rachel. I'm really excited. Um, not so excited about getting up at 7 o'clock in the morning, but I am excited that as a reward for getting up that early, I get to hang out with you because I miss your face real, real bad. Uh, um, and I'm really happy that I get to come down and come up, I guess, and see you. Yay! Um, and I'm bringing you a present because your birthday is soon. So I'm bringing you your birthday gift. I figured it would make more sense to give it to you while I'm there in person than to mail it. Uh, and I really hope you like it. So, yeah. Caroline, I miss you too. I miss you this much. Um, I hope you're having a lot of fun at VidCon. I'm really jealous that you got to meet a bunch of people. Like, you got to meet Christina and Luke, Connor, and um, this Caleb Nation fellow who you've talked about before, but I have no idea who that is. And you got to meet Tyler Oakley. And I'm really jealous because I love him. And you got to see Lauren, of course, who I miss. Um, I'm really jealous. I hope you're having a lot of fun at VidCon. I wish I could have gotten to go. Um, but I keep getting your tweets from VidCon that say lots of funny things. So I'm glad that you're having a good time. Uh, and I really hope that I get to see you at some point in the future as well. We should figure something out because I miss your face. Um, I can't think of anything else to say, so I'm going to go now. I'm going to work on getting editing software <laughs> so that I can actually, like, cut when I make mistakes and stuff, and you don't have to look at them because they're ridiculous. And um, I promise next week I'll vlog with better lighting. <laughs> and um, 
Rachel, I'll see you tomorrow. And Carolyn, I'll see you Monday.